Uh, welcome. Okay. Um, I decided to make a few videos. Uh, there's quite a bit of things going on with RxB 2024 that I'm going to release. I've almost got it done. I'm working on the documents now. I wanted to make a, a note about something with the video. Uh, call files. Uh, in Classic 99, you can do a call file zero, which is not the same as the, the call files that RxB uses. Uh, RxB overrides the regular call files. Like if I go to, um, for example, if I go here, I change this to instead of basic. Front, well, excuse me. Oh, come on. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Go to basic. If I do a like call files zero. Now it uses the classic 99 version of this. So your result will be a a, a version that is for classic 99. So if we go to extended basic. Do a call files and do a size. As you can see, it didn't change the stack. Go to RxB. If we go call size so files zero. They're both in class of nine, as you can see. Do a size, mine's a little bit better. It's 13394 of stack bytes free. So 118440 is not quite right because if you go call files 3, it still says 11. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of broken if you ask me. That seems a little broken. So what I did was, in RxB, I said, we need to fix this. So I made my own call size. And my size gives you the stack memory. And it also gives you the program bytes free in, in RAM, up in uh, 24K. Uh, it gives you the assembly space in the lower 8K. It tells you what AMS pages or SAMS pages are being engaged up to uh, 16 meg. It, it'll do 32 meg too, but nobody's made a Nobody's made a 32 meg version of SAMS yet, so it's it's set up for it uh, because I used the format that was told to me by the format. And it works up to 16 meg. It's been tested. Uh, I run tests. Anyways, then we have the memory used and is free. This gives you the address in VDB memory. That's the first free address in when you do a size. It also gives you the VDP stack area uh, of where it is. Now, I should note down here, these are all the sizes. When you call files 15, this is how much stack free memory you have, VDP memory you have. And I, I've laid them all out here on this page. And call file zeros is, of course, right here, the same here is 3394. Now, as I mentioned, the documentation here, each one of these are 518 bytes different. And so I followed that standard. I don't think Classic 99 uses the same standard. I'm not sure. But you can't get a reading off it correctly. Unless you're an RxB, so I'm I don't know. My main thing is I want it to be standardized so it's the same. So this shows the free VD memory of XB programs and how it is calculated. It is the first free address in high memory, which is like it says here, first free address in high memory. And then it minuses the uh, VDP stack area plus 64 bytes because the stack is 64 bytes tall. Now it can add more to the, to the stack. So it actually can be more than 64 bytes, but it'll do a stack overflow eventually. And that's what you get when you use some of these programs, like in, they do the same thing to test memory for TI Basic, where they do a stack overflow. What you're actually doing is just increasing the stack until like, they ran out of memory. And then you can calculate that by doing it. But anyways, uh, it, it, extended basic and TI Basic work pretty much the same exact way. So anyways, then extend low VDP memory. You should notice that all call files is 518 bytes. I already said that. Lastly, RxB created a call file zero. So the call file zero is different than anybody else's that I know of. I don't know anybody else that does a zero. A zero. And I calculated it exactly as 518 bytes, the same as you see each time here. 
they're all exactly 518 bytes difference. So I stayed standardized for that reason. And all others, you know, anyway, standards, consistent, predictable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that's basically what I've been doing. So I just wanted to put out a video to show exactly why I use the call file zero the way it does. And uh, you could get more memory. Like, you know, you could call files, call files minus one and actually drop it down to, uh, kick it up to the entire BDP memory. Uh, because, you know, 344, if you do a call hex, and we do uh, that file area, where is it at? Uh, 3D, 3D, E9, and we go uh, A, and print A. Uh, that's 15. 849, if we go call hex, we do uh, 3FFF, which is the top of the VDP memory, and then print B. So if we print uh, B minus A, oops, minus A, that'll tell the difference. Yeah, it's 534 bytes. So we could actually add a minus 1 in there, because that's 518 bytes. But I think that that would be a cause of problem, because there is a buffer there for your, your disk access. So I don't think you can go any higher than fall file 0. Uh, you could do it, but if you, you access anything to do a disk or class or uh, the uh, cassette or something like that, it'll crash. Easy. You can get away with, get away with the call file 0. Because it moves all the, the, the pointers for you. So anyways, I just wanted to come back and you know explain how things work and what's going on with RxB 2024. And I'm going to release it soon. Uh, right now I'm working on the documents, as you can see. And once I get that done, I'll, I'll put it out there for you. I might make another video on In the Dark. Because uh, RxB, that's probably going to be the next video. Uh, I just finished updating in the dark so it works with uh, RxB 2024. Uh, it was broken from 2020 on, so I just fixed it. Anyways, I will make another video and uh, post that soon. So, thanks. Talk to you later.